はいナホにあげる Hey guys, it's Ash here with WatchMojo, and these are the top 20 high school romance anime. For this list, we'll be going full slice of life and looking over the most heartwarming anime that focus on adolescent romance. Keep in mind, the school setting and romance have to be paramount, so series such as Komi Can't Communicate, where the lovey dovey stuff is somewhat secondary, doesn't count. Which of these anime got your heart a flutter? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Horimiya. Everyone knows the adage about judging books by covers and so on. But this anime really doubled down on it, and doing so gave way to a high school romp that caught fire. Miyamura. Nani, Horisa? While there are a medley of couples scattered throughout, the main draw is the bubbling romance between popular girl Hori and quiet outcast Miyamura. Only Hori is actually a down to earth gal, while Miyamura is actually a punk lover with an excess amount of piercings. It's certainly a more mature take on the sub genre, with its leads unafraid to repeatedly take things to the next level. Number 19, Skip and Loafer. It is physically impossible to watch this show and not feel like you're bathing in sunlight. The central romance and its participants are just so damn pure. Enter Mitsumi, a girl from the rural outskirts with big dreams, and while not exactly what you'd call a dazzling beacon of beauty, her compassion and enthusiasm is so overwhelming that it attracts everyone from all walks of life into her friend group, including Sosuke, the human equivalent of a golden retriever. Honestly, this might just be one of the most adorable anime romances in modern memory. Number 18, We Never Learn. Kicking off the surprisingly growing sub sub genre of student tutors teaching their students and falling in love in the process, we have this little gem, wherein down on his luck but studious Yuiga is given the chance to gain a sponsorship for his ideal college if he helps three superstar students graduate. <laughs> The comedy here is fantastic, but what really sells it is that it also gave us one of the greatest harems we've ever seen. There's no room for arguments here. Furuhashi, Takemoto, and Ogata are all top tier. End of story. <laughs> Number 17, Tomo chan is a girl. Hot off the presses and met with resounding adoration, Tomo chan's desire to prove to her bestie that despite her tomboy look, she still wants to be treated like a girl proved to be a hell of a good time. <laughs> While you can certainly attribute its comedic chops to its amazing supporting cast, Carol is Queen. <laughs>
ただいま Tomo's struggles to convince her childhood friend of her feminine traits is still endearing enough to keep the series afloat. We're sort of wondering how it took Jun so long to notice Tomo is an absolute keeper. I mean, dude, do you have eyes? Oh, what's that? Number 16, Nisekoi. You think dealing with everyday life is hard when you're a teen? Imagine being the child of an infamous Yakuza boss as well. <laughs> Raku and Chidoge, the offspring of two rival gang leaders, take immediate distaste to each other upon their first meeting, which makes things kind of awkward when it's revealed that in order to harbor peace between both Yakuza factions, their parents insist they pretend to be boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> This leads to a whole host of problems down the line, as the two not only have to keep their secrets, but also deal with the likes of love triangles, a brewing romance, and even hitmen. <laughs> Number 15, Love Chunibyo and Other Delusions. All Yuta wanted was to have an ordinary high school experience. Unfortunately for him, That all goes out the window when Rika enters his life, a girl who happens to be the furthest thing from ordinary. <laughs> Suffering from 8th grader syndrome, Rika lives in her own fancy world, one Yuta keeps getting sucked back into. <laughs> As Yuta finds himself drawn closer and closer to the quirky but cute Rika, the wielder of the tyrant's eye starts to discover that real world feelings are perhaps even more magical than her own imagination. Number 14, The Quintessential Quintuplets. Taking the student tutor gig to the next level, Futaro's crusade to earn a bit of cash for his struggling family leads him into the unexpected position of serving as a mentor figure to the Nakano siblings, five gorgeous sisters who couldn't be more different. <laughs> Only united in their abysmal academic abilities and their growing affection for Futaro's personalized teaching methods. The fact that one of them is teased to be his future bride just adds to the shipping war potential. Pick a sister and set sail. Number 13, My Love Story. We've seen odd couples in anime before, but none quite as peculiar as these two. <laughs> Takeo may have a gentle soul, but he's also a giant whose bulky appearance has constantly scared away every girl he's ever liked. That is, until he encounters the adorable Rinko, a girl able to look past the muscle. <laughs> Thus begins a relationship that will have you crying with laughter one moment before knocking you right in the feels soon after. The innocent yet oddly realistic portrayal of Takio and Rinko's romance is just another example of how books can't be judged by their covers. <laughs> Even if said book looks like it could crush a mountain with a headbutt. Number 12, Oran High School Host Club. Rare is the reverse harem anime that captured the hearts of so many across the board, especially one handled with such elegance. Poor yet brilliant Haruhi finds herself wrapped up in an elitist host club tailored to wealthy high school girls after a major mishap. <laughs> The catch? She has to pretend to be a boy, chivalrous and sweet, seeing Haruhi's interactions mingle with the various dream boys that occupy the host club is a delight. Even those of you who don't tend to lean into this kind of anime are bound to be charmed. Haruhi. 
Number 11, Sure Dure Children. Why just focus on one pairing when you could have all the pairings? Seriously, this show has so many high school couplings, and all of them are cute as can be. As you'd expect, a series that focuses on shorter episodes with a stacked cast doesn't leave room for excessive character depth. But the combination of contrasting personalities paired with the sheer sweetness of each blossoming romance makes the whole thing a joy to watch. How could you not be sold by the likes of Jun and Yuki's constant teasing? <laughs> or the hilarious no Fs given adorableness of Masafumi and Ryoko. Number 10, Your Lie in April. If music be the food of love, play on. Due to a past riddled with tragedy and abuse, Kosei has lost his passion for the piano. That is until a fateful encounter with the beautiful violinist Kaori whose boundless energy not only leaves him smitten, but revives his musical flair. If you want to find me, look on stage. I'll be there, playing this violin. Fair warning now, yes, you should absolutely watch this tale of friendship, music, and young love, but also be aware that said tale is so full of heartache that you'll need to constantly dry your eyes. You don't know how close I am right now to just losing heart. Still, we wouldn't miss this duet for the world. Number 9. Lovely Complex You wouldn't have thought something like height difference could be the driving force for a whole romantic narrative, and yet Koizumi and Otani somehow managed to make it work. Otani! Insecure with their appearances, these two adorable adults certainly don't get off on the right foot. In fact, the pair of them could not be more different. And yet, through a series of hilarious trials and errors, the duo discover that they complete each other. Guess when it comes to finding that perfect partner, size doesn't even factor into it. Koizumi. Number 8. Don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro. What started off as an uncomfortable example of verbal bullying soon evolved into one of the sweetest, funniest, and most compelling anime romances you're likely to see in a high school setting. <laughs> <laughs> on the one end, you've got the nervously artistic senpai, and on the other is the energetic demon cat that is Nagatoro, whose newfound affection comes in the form of relentless teasing. <laughs> Don't get it twisted though, this romance isn't one-sided in the least, and seeing both break out of their own preconceptions to realize they adore each other is just the best. Senpai. <laughs> Number 7. Dokusei, Classmates Life as a high schooler can indeed be a difficult time of self-reflection, but it can also be one of immense beauty. <laughs> Nowhere better is this demonstrated than with these two polar opposites. While Rihito spends his time getting perfect grades, Hikaru is busy perfecting his guitar skills. It isn't long before a chance encounter leads the two boys developing a curious interest in each other, which soon evolves into tender affection. <laughs> As both a coming-of-age story and a beautiful romance, this one will really make your heart flutter. Number 6. My Teen Romantic Comedy, Snafu If you're someone who enjoys your romance anime with a much more serious edge, then watching Hachiman try to survive the gauntlet that is high school with two equally captivating ladies by his side should be right up your alley. A loner with a major cynical chip on his shoulder, Hachiman's somewhat forced inclusion into a club where he has to help people he despises already conjures up plenty of drama. 
私の依頼聞いてもらえるかしら But the real draw comes from whether or not he's going to give his closed off heart to either Ice Queen Yukino or Wilting Flower Yui. どんなにめんどくさくてもいい厄介でもいい逆にそこがいいまである No.5 Kimi ni Todoke These two are so perfect for each other that their chemistry almost makes us angry. おはよう黒沼In spite of being a very positive person, Sawako's naivete and ghostly appearance has earned her the nickname of Sadako, the creepy female villain from the Ring film franchise. As a result, her high school experience has been one of immense isolation. At least it was until she strikes up a friendship with Mr. Popular himself, Kazehaya. <laughs> Drawn to her inspiring personality, the two find themselves growing closer and closer. Seriously, their love is so pure that you'll end up blinded by it. Number 4 My Dress Up Darling. Who'd have guessed that cosplay would serve as the catalyst for one of the most engrossing romances to ever come out of anime? That's not hyperbole. Watching the sweet yet painfully shy Gojo grow closer to the ultra nerdy yet popular Marin gives us hope for humanity. <gasps> the way in which they tackle each costume creation, every photo shoot, not to mention their unavoidable romantic and sensual chemistry that only seems to spike with each episode. We can't get enough of it. And from how things went down in season one, they can't get enough of each other either. <laughs> Number three, Clanad. We hope you didn't put those tissues away, because this anime will have you weeping before you know it. Happy to waste his days away, delinquent Tomoya discovers a new reason to continue his high school life after encountering the endearing yet awkward Nagisa. Her motivation to revive the drama club and overly friendly nature gradually starts to soften Tomoya, allowing these seeds of romance to be planted. While their connection may be genuine, it certainly doesn't skip out on the darkness, as the series goes to great lengths to expose the pain and turmoil each are facing in their own lives. Number 2 Toradora It's a tale as old as time. Nice guy with a mean looking mug meets adorable ball of fury. They clash, they bicker, they pretty much hate each other until they decide to work together in order to set the other up with their respective besties. It doesn't change anything if we stick to the plan. But he's with a girl! What are you, a sexist? Who would have guessed that the tiger and the dragon's resentment for each other would blossom into one of the most beautiful anime couplings of all time? Why am I. Oh, I know. Prepare to experience the full emotional spectrum, much like our characters, as they discover that all they need out of life is each other. We could always try it again if you want. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1 Kaguya sama Love is War. I mean, was there any doubt? Fujiwara san, I'm a friend. あなたがアスシヌとしても私はもう助けてあげません。Not only is this clash of geniuses an absolute masterclass of anime wit, banter, and outlandish comedy, but the duo of Kaguya and Miyuki are incredible when it comes to conveying that for all their accomplishments and faults, they're just as hopelessly in love as anyone else. After all, why admit your feelings when you can try and make the other slip up to confess first? As hysterical as it is sincere, if there's one high school romance anime you need to watch in your lifetime, it might as well be this one.
Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.